obviously coming off a bye week. It was a much needed bye week after eight straight weeks of uh, games. Gave us a chance to rest uh, and recover a little bit. Uh, we were kind of banged up. Hopefully we get some extra guys back uh, for this next game that we hadn't had. A uh, chance for us to um, go back and review and reflect on the, the first eight games, both as coaches and as players. We went back through, did a very, very thorough self-scout uh, evaluation of us on offense, defense, and special teams. And then we had our players go back and study themselves um, with a point of attack plays that they were in in the first eight games and basically uh, give, give their evaluation of what they saw. And I thought it was a really good exercise for everybody in the program. Uh, I had a chance to practice three times last week, focus was on some uh, fundamentals and situational work as well as some developmental work for uh, some of the younger players. I thought we had good energy, good spirit uh, at the practices and got a lot of good work done. And then obviously got an, an opportunity to recruit a little bit too. Um, Northwestern, just a uh, you know, couple thoughts after that game. We haven't really talked since then. Uh, I thought there were a lot of positives to take uh, away from that uh, football game. You know, and it started with just our, our attitude and effort and our preparation. I thought we uh, continued to stay focused. We continued to work. Um, guys stayed together. We had a really good week of preparation as we led up uh, to that game. And I thought uh, it carried over into the game. I thought we had good energy, good focus, and, and a lot better execution, you know, on uh, Saturday uh, against Northwestern. When we talk about our plan to win, when I evaluate that game, there were really three of the four things that we felt like we did that gave us a chance in that game. First and foremost, turnovers. We didn't have any turnovers in that game, and that gave us a chance to be in that game and uh, you know, be a few plays away from potentially getting a victory. Uh, we played good defense. We played good special teams. And if you can put those three things together, typically going to have a chance for some success. Uh, where we really struggled were the critical situations, third and fourth down uh, defensively in some critical uh, situations in that game. And uh, then in the red zone on offense, uh, we've got to be able to get some touchdowns, set a field goals, and put points on the board. And we weren't, uh, we were unable to do that. Um, but if our uh, attitude uh, and effort towards our preparation for games continues, uh, we'll have a chance to continue to improve and uh, you know, be in games as we go, go down the stretch. Uh, just looking ahead to our next opponent, Wisconsin's a very good football team. They're a big, strong, physical football team. They've got good coaches. They've got good players. Uh, they've got a winning culture that they've had for a long time. Um, Camp Randall's a tough environment, one of the uh, toughest uh, game day environments in all of college football. It's going to be a tremendous uh, challenge, but one that we're looking forward to. And uh, we had practice yesterday, and uh, we had a really good spirit of practice yesterday. And looking forward to watching this team continue to grow and try to improve as we move forward. So with that, I'll go ahead and open up to any questions that you guys may have. Chris, what specifically do you want to see over the final four weeks? I mean, what, what do you feel that you have to see? end the year knowing there's been progress made? Yeah, I'm not worried about the next four weeks. I'm worried about this week and what we have to do to, to uh, try to compete with Wisconsin and have a chance to win a game against Wisconsin. It's all about ourselves, just like I mentioned in our plan to win uh, for uh, Northwestern. I want to see some of those same things. I want to see us uh, win the uh, turnover battle. We've we got to be able to take care of the football. We have not done that consistently enough. When we've done it, we've had a chance to, to uh, be in games. When we don't, obviously, uh, it gets ugly in a hurry. Uh, I want to continue to see us uh, play uh, improved defense. Uh, I want to continue to see us play good on special teams. Uh, we've got to score some points. You know, that's really one area that we have not uh, obviously done very good uh, here recently. And we've got to score some points. But I want to see the attitude, the effort, the toughness of our football team uh, continue to improve. And I want to see our plan to win show up on film. When you evaluated the offense, you know, spent a week, what uh, types of things did you, you see that went wrong? And then looking forward, you know, how do you get it better going from 130th nationally to where it is and, and try to improve over, over the next four weeks? Yeah, but at the bottom, uh, you know, when you look at us offensively, there are a lot of different issues. There's not just one. And it's not the same player. It's not the same unit. It's not the same call. Uh, it would be really easy uh, if it was just one problem, but it's, it's not. Um, and that's usually what happens when things uh, don't go the way you want. Uh, you know, you started up front on the offensive line. We have to be more consistent both in the run game uh, and in the, in the uh, pass game with our protection. It, it typically starts with fundamentals. Um, and that's where we have to improve. That's where we put our focus here uh, on the bye week, our fundamentals uh, up front on the offensive line, both uh, for the run game and the pass. We have to be able to run the ball better offensively to take some of the stress off the quarterback. We have not been able to do that consistently enough, and that's an area that we have to improve uh, uh, with our offense, and I want to see that as we go forward here uh, into this week. Um, at the uh, wide receiver position, just the details of, of what we're doing, both in the, in the run game and the pass game. We need to block more consistently. We need to be more physical. 
uh, with our uh, wide receivers uh, at the point of attack. And then we've got to detail out our, our uh, routes in, in the pass game because uh, one guy, uh, you know, his route's not detailed, it's not the right depth, it's not the right cut, and it, it messes up uh, a lot of things. So we, we've got to detail that out. And at the running back position, uh, again, just uh, uh, being able to hit the holes that are, that are there. Uh, we, we missed some against Northwestern. We missed read some stuff. Uh, uh, they've got to get better in the pass protection also. Uh, and then the quarterback protecting the football and, and uh, just getting better at that position overall. So um, there are a lot of things that uh, we've looked at offensively and uh, that we need to improve upon as we go forward. Coach, last time we were in here, you talked about taking more of an upgraded role in the defensive play calling. Where does that stand now? Is, is it going to continue? And, and how did that kind of turn out for you? Well, it's not necessarily defensive play calling. It's more about defensive preparation. Uh, the calls are the calls. So, you know, we, we, I don't care who makes the call. It's about the preparation. It's about the attitude and the energy that we bring defensively. And that's uh, my focus uh, to help us defensively. It's my job to help the players and the staff prepare, uh, be detailed, um, and do the things that we can do with the players that we have, and then get our players to play really, really hard and execute the calls. The call on Saturday is just a call. It's the, it's the play and the attitude and the effort that we have that bring that call to life. And that's really my focus, is how do we get the calls to come to life with our effort and our attitude and our execution. You made any substantial changes with the open week? Have you guys personnel wise, you know, responsibility coaching staff and doing drastic? No, no, we're just trying to do it better. Yeah, that's it. You mentioned on the radio show that you plan to recruit junior college players. Um, the history of Rutgers getting the Chukos, you know, to, to step in and play right away hasn't been good. It's just body at best. Um, a is that the plan uh, going forward? Can you talk a little bit more in depth on that? And two, um, what makes you think that that's a good way to replenish the talent for 2019? Well, the, the plan isn't necessarily to go recruit junior college. I think I, the, the, what I was asked about mm -hmm. junior college recruiting here at Rutgers and uh, the challenges uh, that may be different compared to another university, because every university is different. Um, I look at junior college recruiting for, for this program and places that I've been as a need-based uh, uh, option. If you have a need and you can fulfill that need uh, through a potential a junior college transfer, an older kid that fits your culture, fits your university, fits your style, then great. We're not going to go just sign a junior college player just because he's a junior college player. It has to, one, fill a need that we may have, uh, which we have some, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, and, but he's also got to fit our culture of our program. And he's got to fit our university academically. So there's a lot that goes into it. Will we Have we looked at junior college players in the past? Yes, we have. Uh, we'll continue to do that. Uh, and if we find someone that fills a need uh, with what we're looking for, you know, probably more or so in the lines than anything else, uh, then we'll take a look at them. Kind of staying on that same subject, you said, is, is the grad transfer route, I mean, you've had some sex success in the past, is that a route that you're going to look to take more a little bit this year as well? Uh, you know, the, the, the transfer route period, whether it's a junior college or grad transfer route, we'll always look at if it's a, a position of need. Uh, just because we want to do it doesn't mean that the, the right player is available for us to take. And uh, we're, we're never going to sacrifice what we want long term for what, you know, for what we, we need to do right now. Um, so we, we want to build a program, and we want to do it with players that are our, our program for four to five years. That's really important. Uh, but we're not going to sacrifice you know, certain things just to, to, to win right now. We need to get better. Uh, I understand that. We all understand that. And we're going to look at all options and try to help us get better. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to go out and get grad transfers and junior college transfers because it may not fit. It may not be the right player available. But we, we will look at all of that stuff uh, as we go forward in our recruiting. When you look at what Northwestern was able to do against Wisconsin on Saturday and the fact that, that you guys played Northwestern tougher four quarters, are you led to believe that maybe you're not that far away from a major breakthrough? Uh, I've said probably over and over and over, uh, and nobody really wants to probably believe me, is I don't think we're that far away. We are details away from where we need to be, but we're not light years away from where we need to be. We are details away from where we need to be. Um, I, I don't get into score comparisons a whole lot because the situations are completely different. That is a rivalry game between Northwestern and Wisconsin. If you look at the history of that game, especially in Evanston, uh, that has been a, a game that Northwestern's played in, uh, played well in quite a bit. And uh, they're a well-coached football team. They've got good players, and uh, they play Wisconsin every single year. They know their style. They know what they need to do to. 
try to defend them and try to move the ball, and, and they did a very good job of that last Saturday. The team that we will face uh, this Saturday in uh, Camp Randall Stadium will be a completely different football team. It's a different environment, different attitude uh, when you play that football team at home. So uh, they lost the game. I'm sure they're going to go back to work, and they're hungry to get back in the uh, uh, win column also. So I expect uh, a completely different football team. Just with Scott's this week, because I know you guys will take one week at a time, is that a rallying cry for you guys? Like, let's, this team is in the Big Ten title hunt. Let's beat them. If we're that close, let's find uh, them. Our, our focus isn't just going to, to, to beat some. Our focus is to get better on ourselves, our, get, get our execution better. Uh, it's, if I'm just focused on beating somebody, we're missing the point. We need to get better at our fundamentals, our execution, our effort. That's our focus. And if we do those things, then we'll have a chance to, to win a game and get the results that we want. We want to, we want to get the type of behaviors and the play that are consistent with the results that we want, and that's what we're missing right now. We need to get that done.